So a lot of you are disconnecting. So you need to have a cooperative partner. What I want to do is, I want to be here. I can grab my shins right here and just operate this right here, okay? So as Philip comes here, you see how that works right there? And then you can get to sleep. Because when you, even in an open guard situation here, even if you're here, okay? And then they enter to do anything, they put their hands right where you need them and you're able to go into an open guard, okay? Unless they sit there, and then you're sitting here and then you're like, it's just weird, I don't know what are we doing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stay in the sphere. I don't want my feet to be too far up because he can hold me forward. I don't want, I want one to vary the, the, the height, so to the left, okay? Philip's gonna just kinda walk around my side, he'll turn me. I should be able to turn, okay? I should be able to move my feet a little bit here. His objective isn't to really beat me, and just for me to be able to stay here. If he rolls me up over my shoulders, I can use my elbows to roll myself back because you can use your elbows to roll yourself in a circle. So as he's moving me around, we're here, I'm gonna be here. And I keep pushing myself off. Even if you go here, you roll yourself back and you recompose. So you're like a ball. You never want to do this, but push me to the side. And then just die here. You always want to keep going. You're rolling. You can sit up. You pull my knees. You can sit up. You push me back. Go on here. Even if, oh, was it? Let me, oh, right sorry. Here. Even if he pushes my heels and I get caught this way, rolls me over my head, push, 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 push. Yep. I could still should be able to be here. We can pose. And my feet are either going for his biceps or his hips. So here he's just walking around, turning. We're we looking at the circle here. Okay. Here, and roll back here. Push off here. He's pushing it up. I have to widen my legs. I don't want to narrow them down like this, because then you're not a ball. You're here. So as he's I sit up, you're looking back here. Roll me up here. And that way it'll help you keep your elbows and knees together right here. So at least you're here. You can also do it like this too, which is a little bit weirder because oftentimes I just grab your leg and pull or something. But then this way, you're able to get close the distance much easier. So just the basic drill, close you down. Yes, sir. And you just want to roll them around in a ball. Yeah. Cause look, right here, if I, this, what you want to do, you want to grab your shins to remove the ability for me to grab. So no matter what I grab here, you're able to now grab my sleeve. So that, and then now engage your right foot. And then now it's already much better open guard than if you're sitting here and not doing it. So here, one more on here, so here, here, come up. Around and he's trying to put his feet either my biceps, shoulders, or hips here, so you have somewhere to aim. And so here, Coming around. My objective is not to beat him; it is just to keep him in a ball. So if I even go this way here, he's able to push off with that foot. Push off, and always going into the biceps, shoulders, or hips. When you go for the hips. It's too easy to push down. So when you roll back, always to the biceps and shoulders here. Now, one high, one low, and now you're good. And here, see that it gets stuck here, over here. So when you get rolled over your shoulder, use your elbow. So as you're here, you can widen my elbows and create a bigger base. So he rolled me up. Yep. Always on one high, one low. And then you're able to go to turtle. Okay. And we'll talk about escaping turtle, okay? So the objective of your dance partner 
is to be able to just move you around so your knees, feet, and high and low. Either shoulders, bicep, hip, one high, one low, and you don't want to go too fast. Just so you can move around and yeah, sit, sit them up. Use that elbow, where you can pose. Give them the chin tuck. If I want to stop the back roll, go ahead. I can use my head, but it's much better if I use my feet to recompose. Can you just hold on to your uh, outside knees right here? Okay, because remember, when you're here, you didn't really have much to grab, and then you're able to go here and go on open guard. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. It's partnered up. One minute drills each. Call these core burners, guys. Core burners. <laughs> 